right now I'm stuck in the window. How did that happen? Now, now that I got them in there, I can't get them can't get them back out. Oh, my hand can't fit in there. In 2018, I did buy a lot of Lego sets, and a lot of them I did not build, especially when they first came out. But finally, I have built this one. It is the Lego Route Master bus, the London bus. Finally got around to building it, and I do collect Lego London buses, so we'll show that here as we uh, go over a brief review of a pretty awesome set. So I did call it the Route Master, but the box actually just calls it the London Bus. I don't know what the difference is. Uh, those that live in the UK, you can tell me. <laughs> Looks more moderner than some of these older ones. Uh, this one's from the 60s, 70s, and then the 2000s there. Uh, but we're just going to look at this one in this video. And it's really detailed. I it's such a big model, too. Um, I mean, it's pr pretty much a um, minifigure scale. Let's see if a minifigure can fit in there. Look at that. Isn't that awesome? You could put... I mean, this is... <laughs> if you were going to have a true Lego um, town, these are how big the vehicles would have to be, probably. Uh, maybe it's a little bigger than minifigure scale, but this fits in there nicely. Um, yeah. So... And I like how that you can remove the top easily to get in there. But man, look at all the seats. Just tons of seats there. That was a pretty neat build. And I did actually build this one myself. And it has the little bench here. There. Nice bricks are. And here is where the driver sits. Except this has to be the world's skinniest driver to sit in there. That is crazy. Uh, now minifigure cannot fit in there. So despite being so big, <laughs> I think they failed in, in that aspect of it. Oh, I can't get them out now. Great, now I'm stuck in the window. How did that happen? Come on out, Brickzart. So it does come with alternate license plates uh, that you can put on there. There's the one in the front. And we'll turn around to the one in the back. You can change them out if you want. It's got this nice little stairway here to get up to the upper level. That's, I think that's where you put your money, right there. That little thing, it's got a little umbrella holder right there. Uh, other than that, there's not a lot of other details on that lower level. If I go back and put the upper level back on, can I do that? <laughs> With one hand? I don't know. Uh, there's a newspaper right there, the Lego News, uh, as you come up to the upper level. And then these front view seats are a little wider. That's for fat people, so it'd be a good seat for Brigzar to sit in, apparently. Oh, there he goes. Yeah. Now that I got them in there, I can't get them, can't get them back out. Oh, my hand can't fit in there. Like this... Right here, um, the yellow brick road, Brickadilly Circus, 2x2 two two square, you know, Trafalgar Square, and Piccadilly Circus. Um, I'm not sure what the yellow brick road is a reference to. <laughs> Brixton. <laughs> All right. And then the little advertise. Oh, goodness. Can't really slide it like that. Maybe I put this back on there. So the signs, they're, they're double-sided. You have, you have to flip it around, though. You get the Explorer London on one side and the other one. All right, that's what it looks like. The high tea requires quality biscuits, which look a lot like Oreo cookies. I think uh, biscuit means something different in the UK than it does here in the South. <laughs> of the United States. But that is just a, a quick overview of this set. It's just, I got it to be a display piece with my other London buses. And while I'm doing this, it's, these boxes are so huge 
and I'll show you what I do with my uh, big Lego boxes like this. I lost the I lost the cutters again, but um, these take up so much space, and this model is going to be a display piece, so I'm not going to need the box. But I don't want to throw the box away, so break down your boxes, and you can recycle them if you so choose. But I like to fold them down. And just that way it takes up less space and I just go put it in the stack with the other boxes. Actually I do need to come up with a better place uh, <laughs> to store these. These are just in a garage area for now. I just need to find a place to put them. You know it's funny I'll probably oh let me show you this. These are boxes of Lego boxes. <laughs> so yeah, it's uh, I, I keep them, but I don't know, even know why sometimes. Uh, some of these are duplicates, but uh, I just hate to throw them away because I did throw away some of my classic castle uh, boxes, and then I regretted it later, so I don't want to have that same regret. Okay, so I know it wasn't the most detailed review of a Lego set, but I did want to show you what I do with the boxes, and since this is going to be a display piece, I don't need the box. Uh, I did enjoy building this. I actually built it. Not they might be bricks. Who actually builds most of the Lego sets you see sometimes on this this channel? <laughs> but this is going on the shelf. Uh, it was actually already on the shelf. I built it a couple of months ago, I guess, and um, just never did a video of it. So, yeah, good set. I really like it. Um, it's one of. Uh, I mean, I don't. I don't. Not gonna say it's like one of my favorite sets, but I do like collecting the Lego London buses. So this goes in the collection of Lego London buses. Thanks for watching this video. We're going to be doing a video review or overview of a Lego set every day in 2019. Hopefully we don't miss a day. It's my challenge for 2019. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one. It's Brixar.